Hello there, this is Ryan from Burly Bricks coming to you live from my Epstein Lego room, and today we are building this set. I wanted to do something small since I've had a busy day, and this is a Lego Disney 43223 Asha in the City of Rosas. It's from the Disney movie Wish, which I have seen. Uh, it's 154 pieces, retailed for $25 Canadian. But I got it on Shop Lego. It was on sale for $15. And I thought, yes. Because the set looks really interesting. And I saw, oh, seeing even more stuff. I actually bought another one of them. I was at the Disney, the Disney, the Lego store the other day. Um, and I saw one and I thought, oh, is this a print? Interesting. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. So I'm really bad at like buying things and then not really looking at them and then kind of being surprised when I build them. Um, I was at the Lego store and they had another one and I was like, all right. Cause I saw someone online, um, they modified it to be like a pirate fortress, which I thought was so neat. So, ooh. So first we're building Asha. Um, so yeah, so I did see the movie. I saw it a while ago. Actually, not that long ago. I just have a really bad attention span. Uh, I'm really bad at watching new movies because my my attention span just doesn't exist anymore. I need to fidget with something. So I only really watch things I've already seen. So I know I don't miss anything. I know that's nuts, right? Um, so this is stickers, but I do see prints, a print coming up, which is very interesting. So this is a flag. I think of the city of Rosa. So I think that's right. I don't know. I'm always really bad at stickers. Okay. So she's holding the flag. So uh, the movie is about like people's wishes and this really handsome villain guy. <laughs> I forget what the goat's name is. Um, he Mag Magnifico, I think, is the bad guy's name. Um, oh, it's cute. You make a wish. He can make your wishes come true. I think he only does it for like one person a year or something. But or you give him your wish at powers something. <laughs> And then he like steals people's wishes. Her grandfather's wish gets stolen. And then she like points that out to him or something. And then he says, like, okay, well, get out of this town. We don't like you anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably should have uh, reminded myself of the plot. Oh, this is a nice little cart. I have so many of these these um, big like bins. I'm always trying to think of things to do with it, but I don't usually have them in this color, so it looks nice. Okay, this fortress thing looks really good, and also it's got the double sided doors that are dark, the dark colored ones, which is very nice. Um, the frame is white, but I'll figure it out. But this actually looks really nice. Uh, I do have. I bought the other wish sets it was her cottage um i haven't built that one yet but i got that on sale for a pretty good deal on amazon and then there's the big one the magnifico's castle but that just looked really really expensive Ooh. so these are stickers which you know i don't particularly like stickers i'd rather prints but these are really nice these are really nice um um like the versatile these look like something that i can use for other things which is nice um i always look for like blankets or things to do for beds um so and this is a this is a print it's very interesting very interesting that that's a print sort of raises the question like okay this is a print like i see i've never i don't know if i've ever seen a print on one of on one of these before there's usually always a sticker on the inside for some reason um so it's very interesting that they did that and they didn't do I'm not complaining 
Ugh. Oh, oh well. The green apple looks nice. And then this is grapes. I see this piece used a lot. But like bubbles or ice cream. So it's nice that it's versatile that way if you do it in different colors that it, it obviously looks like other things. Like I, you do it in white, it's like, okay, this looks like bubbles. You do it in purple. Or, you, or oh, they do it in the dark, like a, a yellow color, and it looks like popcorn um, or corn. You do it in purple, and it looks like um, like grapes, and it just looks like that right away. Um, so that's nice. Ice cream scoops, bubbles, you know. So it's nice when you have a piece like that that can be very versatile, that can just look like other things and not without having to really, you know, add a lot to it, just a little stem. I need more of these. I, I could use more grapes in my builds and it's got a lot of useful colors i'm glad i grabbed another one of these honestly i'm i'm already really happy <laughs> with this um i think they only made three sets for this movie let me know in the comments if i'm wrong they might be like poly bags and things like that but um this is oh <laughs> and it's saying to put stickers on the inside on the back of this so that's interesting and it's interesting that it's telling me to do this now okay um i'm really bad with like the newer disney movies i'm trying and the reason why is mostly because of um you know lego sets um because i've become an old man i i was I grew up during the Disney Renaissance. So the color's a little off on this. Um, so I'm I'm really bad. I'm not I'm I'm kind of one of those old men who are like, oh, I like the 2D animation as as a as an artist myself. It's always nice when I see things rendered by like drawing. I remember learning that when I was a little boy, like like Peter Pan was drawn by some with someone's hands like that blew my mind and that really inspired me I know that this kind of animation is still someone does it but and I, I'm not saying that it's not technical and and what have you but there's just something so wondrous about hand-drawn things not cost effective but I guess it gets boring, like having to do that over and over again. What was this one in the center? You have to draw like twenty-four frames per second or something like that. I think I missed a step too. That's got these nice, um, like the more aqua color, like the teal colored leaves which is nice because they're not super common i don't think oh we're putting a carrot in here it's nice does this come with an extra teacup i think so yeah this is looking great so far this is what i've done so far it's great bag view Okay, like great pieces, great vegetation. Ooh, I know I keep saying ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing things. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself, though. I always get easily distracted with these things. Okay, I'm, I love these little mats and things. I kind of wish they were prints, but I get it. It's nice to get something different. I mean, at least with stickers, you can choose whether or not to put them on. Sometimes I do that. Um, this is nice. This is what I was saying. Ooh, I bet. Ooh. Um, it's these two cups. Now, these chalice is cups. They've been around forever. I have a hundreds of them in like clear, gold, white, 
but I don't have them in this dark. I don't know, it's like a cocoa color, but like the darkest one, not quite brown, and then also a bowl. And what's what I love about this is it, it looks like clay. So this is very nice. I'm I'm really excited about this. Like I said, sometimes like Lego introduces a bunch of new pieces. Um, but when they take an old piece and they print it in a different color, it's just like, oh, this is great. Um, okay. Now we're building stairs, it looks like. Lots of little wedge pieces around. It's always great getting like sandstone colors. And okay, so now there's this formed stair piece here. I I'm sure it's in other sets. I think it's also in the boutique hotel. I have yet to actually get this piece, so I'm very excited about this. Um, it's telling me to put it here. It blends in. Very nice. Um, now we're going this here. Okay. Another wedge piece. Ooh, nice little flower bits. It's nice. There's lots of vegetation. It's really nice. It really adds like to the more. Um, it's not tropical, but it's like a hotter climate or a little more. Um, I forget. I do, I I'm pretty sure it's, it takes place somewhere fictitious, but it's sort of like um, let's say like a South America type of feel, or even like um, European, like a Spain or uh, something like that. Oh, and it also has these printed pieces here, which I'm assuming it's like of the little flower. So it's tiles that are on the wall, which I'm assuming is, um, I'm assuming there's an extra one because it's a one by one and those always are the extras, which is nice. Yep, there's an extra one. That's nice. And now we have to do a roof build. They did this with the um, the Wednesday set, the the dorm room. But they take these little one by one wedges and they not wedges um they put them on a roof to give the if the effect of um like tiles like a terracotta type roof um without doing it they they do it sort of here and there just to sort of give the effect and just to say hey that's how I stamped it on before it told me to because I just knew that's where it was going. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little effect. Now some more vegetation with some white flowers, which is always good to have. I use them as little Santa beards. Okay, where is this going? This goes here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad I built this today. I'm glad I grabbed another one. I could see like 
I don't know. If they're not sold out and I see more of these, I'd probably grab a whole bunch. Oh, there's a, a green hot dog piece in here. Okay. Taking a mental note because I, I'm doing a bit of a tropical build myself. And trees are always sort of a challenge. Um, oh, there's this ep extra bowl. Nice. And it comes with an extra teacup that I actually have a lot of, but still nice. I don't know. This is very interesting. It comes with an extra one of these green hot dogs, so that's cool. So we put this. Oh, I need this. We put this there. Neat. There's still a little more. Ooh, a pumpkin. Nice. See, I use, for my pumpkins, I use the other little, the one that they use here. But now I'm thinking I should go back in my personal build, whoops, and change the pumpkin tops to this. Because that looks a little more, I don't know, a little more natural. Hmm. In my uh, YouTube shorts, I do uh, daily builds every every day. Like I add 25 pieces to an ongoing build. You should check it out. And I just did a pumpkin patch. So not just did a little while ago, but okay. There's a bottle just on the stairs here. That's not very safe. These bottles are always good to have. Like I said, like this, especially with the bottles, um, It looks like um, it looks like it could be a pirate fortress. So this this is beautiful. I really love this. This is such a great little build. Uh, let me know in the comments. Like, did you buy this set? Are you planning on buying this set? Are you a fan of the movie? I I highly recommend it. I you know I, it looked nice, but. Um, after building it and and the extra pieces it comes with are, are great as well so let me know in the comments what you think um and with that have a great rest of your day thanks